In his first SEC game ever, Mississippi State quarterback KJ Costello broke the SEC single game record for passing yards. But as many of you guys know, KJ didn't start his career in Starkville. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the rise of KJ Costello, his performance, and why this was expected if you knew his story. Costello was one of the top quarterbacks in his class, but he had an up and down career at Stanford, and now it seems like he may have found his home with Mike Leach. Before we get started, I just want to say I spent a ton of time on this channel, and I really need your support to continue churning out tons of videos, so please be sure to subscribe if you're new, give the video a like, drop a future video suggestion, and be sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Now let's get started with the rise of KJ Costello. After throwing for 623 yards in today's upset win over number 6 LSU, KJ Costello was already a trendy name, and I think him and Kyle Trask are going to battle it out for the top quarterback in the SEC this year. Let's go across the country to California, where KJ was born. He was born and raised with a love for two sports, golf and football. By the time he got into Santa Margarita High School, he was 6'5 and had all the physical tools you would want in a quarterback. His high school coach compared him to a colt that would run in the Kentucky Derby, and he would take time to develop. As a sophomore, he got the start, but he struggled as he threw for 14 touchdowns compared to 13 interceptions. As a junior, the team switched to a spread-style offense, and he got much better at reading defenses and making plays. He had finally developed, and scouts had taken notice. He became one of the best quarterback recruits in the country, and many expected him to stay home. His final three schools were Michigan, Stanford, and USC. After becoming an Army All-American and a borderline five-star recruit, he chose to commit to Stanford and hopefully, be and hopefully become the next great Cardinal quarterback. According to 24-7 Sports, KJ Costello was a four-star recruit, the number three pro-style quarterback, and the 47th best player in the class of 2016. Going into the 2016 season, the Cardinals were going to have to replace the winningest quarterback in program history, not Andrew Luck, but Kevin Hogan. Keller Kreiss would end up winning the job, so KJ would redshirt. Going into 2017, KJ was expected to be the backup, and that is exactly the role he would fill. Kreiss would start the first four games before he would suffer an injury against UCLA. From there, KJ would come in and play, and by the 8th game of the season, he was the starter. He was a decent starter at best, but they would win some big games. They would beat number 20 Utah in a close game, and he would lead them to beat number 9 Washington behind 200 yards, then he had the game of his career with 4 touchdowns and an upset win over number 8 Notre Dame. He would struggle mightily against USC, but he would throw for 3 touchdowns in their bowl loss to TCU. As a freshman, he threw for 1,573 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. Not bad for a first-year guy. As a sophomore, Keller Kreiss was now at Tennessee, and KJ was the full-fledged starter. He would start off the season with 4 touchdowns against San Diego State, and then he would help them defeat number 17 USC in Week 2. On the road against number 20 Oregon, Costello threw for 3 touchdowns and a classic triple overtime win. He would struggle in losses to Notre Dame and Utah, but he would rebound against Arizona State. He would throw for four touchdowns and a loss to number 14 Washington State, and then the team would lose to Washington the following week. He would finish the year with strong performances with four touchdowns against Oregon State and five against UCLA. Stanford would go on to make it to the Sun Bowl, where he would struggle against Pitt. As a sophomore, he threw for 3,540 yards, 29 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. He improved for sure, but he wasn't anything amazing. He was expected to take a huge leap his junior year, and I remember how he was considered a potential day one or day two NFL draft pick. He would start week one against Northwestern, where he would struggle, but they would win. He would play terrible in back-to-back -back losses to UCF and Oregon, but wore a three touchdown performance and a win. He would struggle with injury, and he'd be done after five games in 2019. Former blue chip recruit quarterback Davis Mills would take over, and Stanford football had a very tough 2019 campaign. After the season, Costello would enter the transfer portal and need a new school. With Mike Leach leaving to come to Starkville, and KJ needing a new home, it seemed like a match made in heaven. Costello would settle on Mississippi State, and he was going to be Mike Leach's new toy. He had a decent amount of hype going into the 2020 season, but no one expected his week one performance. LSU was fresh off a national title, and people expected them to take care of Mississippi State pretty easily. Costello would prove all of them wrong, so he would help the Bulldogs take an early lead, and he would go off in the second half. He would throw for 623 yards and 5 touchdowns in their upset win in Death Valley. Besides pulling off one of the biggest wins of the year, he established the SEC single game record for passing yards in a game and I bet the hype for him is going to become hysteria if he does this again. I have no idea what will happen in the next few weeks, but I'm going to enjoy the hype and maybe he can pull a Joe Burrow-like season and win the Heisman. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I think it's fun to talk about these things and buy into the hype sometimes. I'm pumped to see what he will do, and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Was this a one-time fluke, 
Is LSU overrated, or is KJ potentially going to become a star? Be sure to smash that like button and let me know who I should do next down in the comments section. And if you are new, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and check out all my other 2020 college football star videos. Until next time though, peace.